Sitcher, I'm here to do it. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm here to do a review and swatch video of the new Milani Amore Matte Liquid Lipsticks, the 10 new shades that came out. These are actually not the most recent ones, they came out with even newer ones, uh, I forgot how many colors they were, but they came out very, very recently. But anyway, I have the ones that came out in the middle. So I already have an old video of the original ones, but there's no point in watching them because they don't have those colors anymore but there are some dupes in this collection now Milani sent me all 10 of these colors but I actually originally purchased two of these colors before just to try them out myself and then like a couple weeks later they sent me all 10 of them so anyway you just watch the swatches so I'm just actually gonna get straight into it I'm gonna talk about the formula and then do comparisons of old colors and new colors I already have a swatch because this is my second time filming so the difference between the old formula and the new formula the older one was much more liquidy these are more moussey and now because they're moussey they're actually a little bit more drying in the old formula. The new colors are all pretty transfer proof. The only thing I will say is that sometimes um, with some colors, if you, like, let's say you kiss the back of your hand, there'd be like a outline of the lips, but the outline would be kind of flaky and then you could just brush it off. So it wasn't like staining or anything like It's like 99% transfer proof, I would say, but the wear time is almost the same. They all, these last about, I would say, five hours and then after the fifth hour the sixth hour some of them actually start crumbling so i'm actually gonna talk about my favorite ones and then i'll do the swatches right now and let me tell you just what they smell like i know some people so they have the same smells like vanilla cupcakey kind of smell so so actually i i have five that are my favorite and then five that are not so favorite -y. so the one i'm wearing on my lips is gorgeous and it's gorgeous <laughs> get it Anyway, it's been on my lips for about three and a half hours now. It stayed on. I've eaten, I've drank, like it hasn't moved at all. I would highly, highly recommend you get this. But if you have ColourPop's More Better, it's actually the same. So this is More Better, this is gorgeous. I know my swatch is stuck. If you have ColourPop More Better, there's really no need to get gorgeous. By the way, like I'm going to tell you guys exactly which ones are dupes and everything. I'm going to list this Instagram below. The name, her name is Total Makeup Junkie 101. I don't know if you guys watch her, but I watch her on YouTube and Instagram and I follow her on Instagram and she's amazing. She does the best swatch videos and reviews and she just, she, she literally swatches everything. She did like swatches of all of them, like close up and she has pictures of them on her Instagram just so you guys can refer back to it. But I'm going to tell you right now all the information you need, but still if you want to like for reference and stuff. And then the next color, which I know most of you guys are excited about, is Love. And yes, it is a dupe for Beloved. They're pretty much the same color. That's those two right there. If you guys loved Beloved, but you didn't get your hands on it, get Loved. It's so beautiful and the formula is incredible. Um, Next is Covet. I already have a tutorial wearing this. So beautiful. It's a true brown. It's long lasting. It's just really nice. For some reason, the first time I wore this, it was transferring, and then I wore it again, and it wasn't transferring. I don't know what was going on. I feel like maybe I had too much lip balm before or something. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really budge, and it's comfortable, and the color is beautiful, and it is this color right here. It's really brown, and the old formula color Crush is different. They're not the same, just in case you're wondering. Crush has a little bit more red in it, so these are the two colors. So. Covet is like an exact, like just a true brown color. Next is Precious. It's a really pretty pink and I love the formula. I don't have to say that, right? Because you guys, I said these are my favorites, so you guys know I like the formula. So I don't have to say it, right? Okay. That's Precious and that is Lust from the old line. Yeah, they're, they're the same color. So last one is Adorable. It's a very nude color. If you are darker than me, I would probably tell you to stay away. It might make you look washed out but if you are my skin shade or lighter by the way i'm like an nc40 to 42 in mac but if you're lighter than me i think this would work really really well as a nude right here that's a door and that's adorable adorable has way more brown in it so it's more flattering on deeper skin tones like mine but yeah adorable was like way too light and pasty for me but adorable worked really well i think it will look really great with like a smoky eye so i kind of want to do a look <laughs> really soon with it now the colors i didn't really like um these three are like the brightest colors, and usually with the most liquid lipsticks that I've tried, the brighter the color, the patchier, the more dry. Bright colors just don't work for some reason in liquid lipstick form. But um, I, I'm gonna really try to make Sweetheart work because I love it. I feel like it's such a beautiful bright pink and it's such a spring color. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna make this thing work. But yeah, these were all, all three of these fancy and crazy. They just were too patchy for me and they just you could see the dryness on my lips and then I wore devotion in my last 
makeup tutorial and I mentioned the last in the tutorial as well um, that the middle of it was it was patchy it wasn't like an even application the middle was like lighter than the rest of my lips I don't know why that happened but it made it look like kind of an ombre I actually really liked it for that look but I mean that's not the point that's not what it's supposed to do so the thing with devotion is it's not that drying but because but it's not even and then after about six hours it started to crumble I think it started to crumble because I, I applied so many layers trying to get it even that the layers kind of got you know gross and that's why it started crumbling because, but otherwise I really do love the color it's such a beautiful rich like dark red color and I feel like if I apply just one even layer it might work like in this swatch the, the swatch that I just did in before you saw, I actually did apply it just one even layer and the, it came out really nice. So maybe this could work. That one is actually the same as Romance from the older one. So if you have Romance, you don't need Devotion. But yeah, those two reds right there are exactly the same. And then the last color is Obsession. And this one was the same as Embrace from the old line. Those two right here on top. They're the same color and they both have the same problem. They're both they just don't go on evenly, um, they're kind of streaky, and they just are, they're not as opaque as other colors. I didn't like Embrace, and I don't like Obsession. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, in case you were wondering if, you know, you haven't followed me on Snapchat or Instagram, um, yeah, I cut my hair. Well, I didn't cut my hair. This evil devil woman cut my hair. I showed her a picture, and I told her to go longer than the picture, and she thought I said shorter. Even though longer and shorter don't sound like the same words or not even close to the same word. It's actually shorter on the back. It's like a lob. But, um, yeah. I'm getting used to it. I'm trying to like style it and play around with it. But I'm sad. I wish I had my long hair again. <laughs> yeah, I talked about it enough on Snapchat, I think. So I'm just going to stop talking about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.